Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Eivor, you have awakened. With more to share, I hope. I returned to Asgard. And what did you see? I bound the wolf Fenrir, Loki's son, with an unbreakable cord. The beast was enraged by my actions. We fought and I prevailed, but I could not kill the beast. You visit lore and legend. Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him, tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it, given him a warning, but I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir. The coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Ginungagab. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us, we drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. And that was the end of the Nortnir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, 
A fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand. Oh, I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. I suppose it will do for the mo- Salve, Eivor. We have not yet been introduced. Quite a name you have. If you are wondering what good I will bring to the settlement, you need- Yeah. But you Eivor, Why do you have- I want- I want- One of you- Oh, he- Lord, if you should- I have to- Valet, Eivor. I suppose it will do for the moment. Though it lacks the grandiosity of the Empire. You don't like it. Something new to show you. May I see your stores? All done? Can we do a bit of training? Absolutely. Nothing more today. I will. Bye, Eivor. Appreciate the subtleties of a cutting fly. What have you brought for me today, Eivor? Eivor, darling, how nice to see you. Just came to give you a kiss. How sweet of you, love. Come here. Eivor, darling, how nice to see you. Let's have a drinking contest. You against me. <laughs> if you think you can win, love, I'm eager to indulge you.
Are you going to start? Very impressive. I hope you're ready for how you'll feel in the morning. I should go. I will see you soon. What have you got for me today? of a cutting flight. That is why you misunderstand. What have you got for me today? Anything else I can do for you? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until I see you next. Admit it, Alvis. I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I would sooner...